Hey there guys, it's Deirdre from Vegan Delight and I am totally hiding from my family right now. So I'm in the kids bedroom at our place in Florida and um, it's like 7.30, kids go to bed in half an hour and they're driving me nuts. So I'm just kind of taking a time out here. Um, so today I want to tell you guys about my workout. So yesterday's video I said that um, I was going in to take uh, my downtime for training but um, I was still a little bit like frustrated and wondering you know what happened with my run at my race um, so I don't think I wanted to do too much detail about this but I was hoping to run a five minute pace off the bike so five minutes per kilometer and um, I ended up doing like a 525 pace so that's like quite a ways off um, so I figured out most likely it was just the heat and um, because I did a reenactment today of my race day um, so what we did is I took my bike out to, there's a rail trail here, and so it's just kilometers and kilometers and kilometers of like a flat, um, flat paved road, um, no cars go on it. Um, so I took it out there and I did my time trial, so I did the hour at um, 184 watts, so which was extremely similar to um, my race day. And then um, immediately jumped into my running shoes and did a 10k run. So I wanted to run the 10K at a five minute pace to prove to myself that I could actually do this because I haven't run a five minute pace off of the bike for an Olympic distance triathlon. Um, but I felt like with all the good training I was doing that I should have been able to do it. So I wanted to figure out what went wrong. So I ended up doing the um, 10K. So the first seven kilometers, um, I say it averaged five minute pace, maybe 501 pace. And then um, after the 7K, I just like, completely lost it mentally physically I, c I couldn't hang on anymore um, so I stopped the watch and then I did end up doing the 10k I didn't have a choice I had to get back to my car um, so the last three kilometers um, were a little bit slower to um, get back to the car but I was really happy with the even though I only did seven kilometers I was still really happy because it was like okay yes I can do this um, you know so for sure for next season I should be running at a five minute pace off the bike so I was really happy I did it. Um, I think the difference is that um, it was a little bit cooler today, so that definitely helped with the run. But also, like I noticed my mental state. So when I started the run this today, my mind felt very clear. Um, I felt very calm, um, and that made a huge difference in the run. And afterwards, thinking back to how my run went after the race, like my mind was very cluttered. I was feeling very panicky. I was worried that the girls that I passed on the bike were going to catch up to me. Um, so that kind of thinking really brings on a negative um, train of thought. And um, so when you're kind of beating yourself up like that, it's impossible to stay uh, focused because you're focusing on the wrong thing, right? The focus should just be like, stay calm. You know, you're strong. Da, da, da. Um, so I think heat combined with, um, not a good mental state for the run was, um, why I didn't, uh, do as successful with my run there as I would have liked to, but it's all a learning experience. So I'm really glad that I did this, uh, drill exercise. Um, uh, I feel like I really learned a lot about myself, um, doing it. So what I figured out with the heat is that, um, so my coach had been telling me to do some runs in a jogging suit, sweatsuit, to try to um, mimic running in the heat here. And I didn't do it because the year before when I did the race, um, the temperatures were a lot cooler and I didn't have trouble with the heat. So I was like, oh, I'll be fine. Um, so I'm really regretting blowing that off actually this year. Um, so next year, I've already signed up for the Miami Man Triathlon um, for next year. Um, so I'll definitely be doing some heat training in um, heavy track suits uh, for my runs. Um, just to get used to running feeling really hot and then also I'm going to start working on my mental state um, for when I'm doing my run portion of my race um, so I'm going to be thinking a lot uh, like when I go out for my run off the bike I'm going to be okay what's my headspace I need to be clear I need to be calm and like just really focus on how I want to feel on race day um, so I don't spend a lot of time doing that uh, I do spend a lot of time doing that on my swim because I have a lot of problems with swim. I have a lot of anxiety in the water. So usually I'm mentally prepping myself leading up to the race because of the swim. Um, 
So now I think I need to switch the focus over to the run or maybe I just need to do both. Um, but regardless, those are two things that I learned that I need to do to get myself top three next year. When I came home, I actually felt sick. Like I thought that I was coming down with the flu. I felt like I had a fever. Um, I had to lay down. Um, so thank God, Monica, she, I told her, you have to cook dinner. I, I can't do it tonight. And um, so she cooked us up a really nice meal and um, I just took a little bit of video. So I'll show you guys what she did. All right, so she made us some garlic bread. So she just put a little bit of um, garlic infused olive oil on some uh, fresh French stick. And then the one has a uh, Parmesan cheese, you know, vegan Parmesan on it. And the other has this really delicious cheese that we tried. Um, so I did a review on that cheese actually that I'm gonna put out a video um, maybe tomorrow. And a nice Caesar salad. And then for dinner, we had pasta and just plain pasta with tomato sauce, sprinkled some Parmesan cheese on it. So it was really good and I was so grateful to not have to cook because I really was feeling sick after that workout. And so that's it. So today was officially my last hardcore workout until January. Um, so I'm going to chill. Tomorrow I might do a swim and then we'll see. Maybe Thursday I'll do like an easy half hour run or something. And then after that, I have to really seriously take my downtime, uh, just focus on swimming, doing a lot of drills, and doing my um, heavy lifting. So I'll be doing that for December. But I just wanted to check in with you guys, tell you guys about my little um, experiment I did today and that it went really well. And it's funny because I went into it saying, this is either going to go really, really bad or it's going to go really, really good. So I'm really grateful that it went really, really good. Um, because, yeah, I could have gone bad. I could have just not even hit my watts on the bike and then not been able to run. And Because I've been doing not a lot of working out here. I've been pretty lazy, so I was worried that my body wouldn't respond. But um, it did. So that's it. I'm going to get the kids ready for bed now. And um, I will see you guys on the next video. If you guys like this, press the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do post any questions or comments down below and I'll see you guys on the next video.